Hello students, through this video, I am going to tell you the story of Shakespeare's famous play, Hamlet. We know very well that Hamlet is regarded one of the four famous tragedies of William Shakespeare. So let us start. As the play starts, we come to know that Prince Hamlet, who is the Prince of Denmark, he is informed about the death of his father. He is informed that his father has died by a snake bite. As soon as Hamlet, he gets this shocking and sad news, he comes back to Denmark. But when he comes in Denmark, he is again surprised and shocked to see that his mother, Jatiud, has married his uncle, Claudius. And his uncle has become the king of Denmark. Hamlet is not able to understand why his mother has taken this decision because hardly two months have passed since his father died. Now, some strange event happens because the castle guards and his own friend Horatio, they inform Hamlet that they have seen the ghost of his father. I mean to say they have seen the ghost of the dead king. Hamlet is again surprised. He is very much excited to see the ghost with his own eyes. So he joins the company of the guards of Castle and Horatio. Ghost also appears before Hamlet. He takes Hamlet to some secluded place and he gives this information to Hamlet that it is the ghost of his father. He says to Hamlet, that actually he was informed that his father died by a snake biting, but it is not the reality. The reality is this, that his uncle, who is the king of Denmark, who is become King Claudius, he has poisoned his father. Hamlet is shocked and he is very much grieved. Now the ghost orders Hamlet to take revenge of his death. But he also gives an instruction to Hamlet not to take any action against his mother and let her leave at her destiny, at her doing, at the will of God. Ghost disappears. Now the mind of Hamlet is very much disturbed. His mind is divided. He suffers from mental conflict. He is not able to decide whether ghost is right or wrong. Sometimes he thinks that ghost is right and sometimes he thinks that if the ghost is not right, what will happen? So Hamlet, he decides to get some proof. But it is not an easy work for Hamlet to get the proof against the king. Because king, he is not an ordinary person. So Hamlet, he tries to pretend to be a mad person. He assumes madness. He thinks that under this disguise, under the disguise of madness, he can easily find out the proof against the king and he will also be safe. First he goes to Ophelia, whom he loves very much. Ophelia is the daughter of Polonius. Polonius is a trustworthy courtier of King Claudius and he does some strange activities before Ophelia. Ophelia is convinced that Hamlet has become mad. She comes and gives this information to her father Polonius that Hamlet has become mad. Polonius thinks that perhaps Hamlet has become mad because of his love to Ophelia. Then King also comes to know that Hamlet has become mad. 
he sends two fellows of Hamlet, Rogen, Krentz and Gildaston, to find out what has happened and what is the cause of Hamlet's madness. They come, they try their best, but they fail to find out why Hamlet has become mad. At the same time, Hamlet has come to know that some players have arrived in Denmark and they want to stage a play. Hamlet thinks that it is the best chance to find out the proof against the king. So he gives a few instructions to the players and he also advises them to play the same event under which his father was murdered, as he was informed by the ghost. King Claudius is invited. His mother also comes to see the play. The play is staged before the king. And in the play, the same event is described, the same event is staged in which the King Claudius killed his brother, I mean the father of Prince Hamlet. So when it is the scene of poisoning the brother to his another brother, this scene reminds King Claudius his own sin when he himself poisoned his brother. He at once leaves the play and he orders that the play should be stopped. Mother is very much disturbed after this play and she wants to meet Hamlet. Hamlet goes to meet his mother and Polonius, he decides to hide himself behind the curtain so that he can listen the conversation that is about to take place between mother and Prince Hamlet. As Hamlet is going, he is passing before the room of King Claudius. King Claudius is busy in his prayer. He thinks that he must kill the king and he must take the revenge of his father's death. But he does not want to kill. Because he thinks that if he kills King Claudius, the soul of King Claudius will go directly to heaven and his intention is to send the soul of the king to hell, not to heaven. So he leaves the king. He goes and he meets his mother. First he chides his mother and then he tries to convince his mother that she has committed a great crime. She has committed a great sin. And when mother says that Hamlet has become mad and she is not ready to listen anything, then Hamlet draws his sword. Polonius, who is hidden behind the curtain, he cries. When Polonius cries, Hamlet thinks that Polonius is a king. He takes Polonius for King Claudius and then he steps. Polonius dies. So Queen is very much horrified. She is very much shocked. When King Claudius comes to know that Hamlet has killed Polonius, under the fit of madness, he decides to send Hamlet to England because he thinks that it is not good for Hamlet to wander here and there freely. He may be danger for the king and he may be the danger for the people of Denmark. So Hamlet uh, is sent to England. Hamlet goes to England with his fellows, Rogen, Krentz and Gildaston. King Claudius mentions in a letter that as soon as Hamlet reaches there, he should be killed at once without giving him any chance to say anything about him. And he, sent, he, he hands over this letter to the fellows of Hamlet and then Hamlet starts his journey to England. On the way, during the journey, I mean during the voyage, Hamlet he gets this letter and he changes the letter and he writes the name of Rogen, Krentz and Gildaston at his own name. And it is mentioned in that letter by him that as soon as they arrive, they should be killed. And then some pirates, they attack the ship and Hamlet 
he comes in the ship of pirates and when pirates they come to know that Hamlet is not an ordinary person, he is the prince of Denmark. They bring Hamlet and they leave Hamlet in Denmark. When Hamlet comes in Denmark, he is again shocked because his beloved Ophelia has died. She is dawned and Ophelia has become mad. Why she has become mad? There are some reasons behind it. She has become mad because her father has been killed. She has become mad because her lover Hamlet has gone and she has become mad because her, her brother Latrice is not with her. When her brother Latrice comes to know about the madness and about the death of Ophelia, he becomes very much angry and he decides to take revenge from Hamlet. King Claudius, he convinces Laertes not to fight Hamlet and then he makes a conspiracy. He says that he will arrange a dual short fighting and in this he will provide Laertes a poisoned short and if Laertes makes even a little scratch over the body of Hamlet, Hamlet will die. So this is the plan. As the duel starts, Laertes and Hamlet, they both are wounded by each other and uh, the king, he keeps a glass of wine that is poisoned. He thinks that if Hamlet is not killed by the poison showed of Laertes, then he will give this poisoned wine to Hamlet and he will sure die. Unfortunately, the mother of Hamlet, Jaitude, she drinks that wine which is already poisoned and mother cries that she is poisoned. Then Hamlet, he comes to know that his mother has died because of poison. At the same time, Laertes also informs Hamlet that he will also die because the shod which he has that is poison and he discloses this fact that King Claudius is responsible for it. Hamlet at once jumps and he also stabs King Claudius and King Claudius dies at the same spot. Now Horatio comes and he says that he will commit suicide. Hamlet says that he should not commit suicide because if he dies what other people who are present here they say. Hamlet says that nobody knows why he has killed his uncle. Nobody knows why he has killed the king of Denmark. And if Horatio dies, Hamlet will be condemned after his death. So he gives an advice to Horatio to live in this world, to tell everyone what has happened with Hamlet. At the time of death, Hamlet takes the name of Fortin Brass, the prince of Norway, who went to Poland for fighting, that the next king, the future king of Denmark will be Prince Fortin Brass. And then Hamlet dies. Fortin Brass, he is coming from Poland after getting the victory and he is declared the king of Denmark. So students, this is the story of Hamlet. Thanks.